Today, I'm gonna to take you for a behind the scenes look for a day in my life as a 28 year old CEO building one of the largest global technology and media companies in the world. If you're interested in entrepreneurship or starting a business and you're curious what a day in the life of a CEO is like, please continue watching this video and let's go. I start the day pretty early, some days earlier than others, but I'm not one of those wake up at 4 a.m. and take a cold shower in the morning kind of people. It's now five minutes past 6 a.m. We're here at the pool. I've been coaching swimming for over 10 years. I love what I do. I come in, I set up the pool. I do it a few times per week, and it's a great way to start out my day. And while I don't do coaching every single day, it is the foundation for starting my swim pro. So I like to stay close to coaching, fine tuning people's technique, and empowering people to be the best version of themselves every single day. I started my swim pro in 2015 and today it has grown to be a global technology and media company with a distributed team that spans over 10 different time zones. We design and develop mobile applications that help people improve their performance and health both in and out of the water. As you can see, I start out my day coaching and it's a great reminder of why we do what we do. We're all about empowering people to be the best version of themselves in the water and in their lives. We have over 1 million community members across 180 different countries. And in 2016, My Swim Pro was named by Apple as the best app of the year. I love what I do. I love the flexibility of being an entrepreneur and being a CEO. And today, we're gonna get started. Let's go. never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret to your success is found in your daily routine. We're all human. It's the little things that add up. Productivity comes from structure, shaving, taking a shower, preparing a healthy breakfast, brushing your teeth. I found that I'm most productive when I have a similar morning routine. Every day has an agenda and the night before I list out three to five main action items that I need to accomplish the next day. Let's take a look at what those are for today. I have four main action items that I planned out today and I like to write them on sticky notes. If you notice, I have a couple other sticky notes where I like to plan things out. So last night I planned out today, I'm gonna work on our team adventure. So we have a globally distributed team. And last year we actually rented a castle on an island in Spain for our team retreat. It's pretty amazing. I'll link the video to that in the description below. But for this year, because of the global pandemic, we're not going anywhere. So we're gonna do a fun team adventure. Everyone's gonna go camping. So I'm planning out all the logistics of that. Uh, I'm also gonna do our financial analysis and pro forma for the month of August. We just finished August and I'm going to plan out all of the financials for that. So it's a little bit boring, but it needs to get done. Uh, and then thirdly, we're going to do an outdoor video shoot. So we're actually going to go to the pool and I'm going to plan out all the content. So I'm as efficient as possible with that time. And then fourthly, I'm producing this video day in the life vlog. So planning out all the shots for that, that I want to make sure I accomplish and share here. If you guys are checking out my office, I did actually a home office tour. So you can learn more about how I stay productive and I actually break down all the costs, all the tools that I use here in the home office. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you check it out. Link in the description below. Separate from these four main action items I need to complete today, I have two team meetings that I need to jump on. I'm doing an interview with an Olympic swimmer for the Ask a Swim Pro show. We're going to the pool to do a video shoot for the My Swim Pro media team. Between all of that, I'll be communicating with our team on Slack to make sure everyone has everything that they need and all the feedback to do the best job possible. And between all of that, I'll be catching up on my email and all of our social media engagements. But if you don't mind, I'm pretty much plugged in all the time, but right now we've got a lot to do, so let's make it happen. From the moment I wake up, I know exactly what I'm going to accomplish. And this doesn't happen by accident. It takes planning, focus, and really making sure you're organized so you can be the most efficient with your time. Welcome to the Ask a Swim Pro Show. My name is Ferris Sabetti, co-founder and CEO of My Swim Pro, and today we have a... So I often get asked about the white sport coat. So this has been a part of my personal brand for the last five years. And here's a really short version of the story of how it came to be a part of the brand. So in 2015, Adam Oxner, my co-founder and CTO of MySwimPro, we're going to Tech Week Chicago startup fair. There's over 100 different startups 
Uh, everyone has a little booth and everyone wears a startup t-shirt or maybe a black sport coat. So we didn't even have the app launched on iOS yet, but I wanted to stand out. I wanted to make an impact. I wanted people to talk to us and notice us. So I figured it'd be fun if I wore a white sport coat. So I went to Macy's, I bought Adam a white sport coat. We went together, we're at Tech Week Chicago. There's thousands of people and we're wearing white sport coats and everyone wants to talk to us. It's June and you know, white is luckily in fashion at that time of the year, but everyone wants to talk to us. They thought we were doctors. They thought we were doing something really innovative. And from then on, I just kept wearing the white sport coat and I've worn it in pitch competitions. I've traveled the world giving presentations, wearing the white sport coat. And now it's definitely become a part of the brand for me personally and also my swim pro. We are on our way to the pool, and when I say my swim pro is a global technology and media company, I mean media company in every essence of the world. We are producing content that is educational, inspirational, and entertaining. We have almost half a million followers across all our social media platforms. We've really developed the brand over the last five years to be inclusive and diverse and really bring an international flavor to helping people improve their performance and health. We have an awesome media team, two video editors, and a lot of the content happens to feature myself. So today when we go to the pool, we'll be producing some content for our media partners, as well as some organic content that we can share across all of our social media channels. All right, we are behind the scenes of a My Swim Pro video shoot. You know, one of the huge benefits of being the CEO of a fitness company is that I can kill two birds with one stone. I can get in my workout and do a video shoot at the same time. I think that's a pretty unique opportunity. I think it's super important to stay active. I think everyone should try and get in, you know, 30 minutes or an hour of activity per day. It definitely gives you structure to your day. You know, I do work in the morning and then I get a workout in in the middle of the day. Normally I swim three to five times per week and then I'll do out of the water training in the weight room or dry land you know three or four times per week in addition to maybe a cycle one or two times per week i probably average about five to ten hours of physical activity per week and if i'm training for something specific i'll do a little bit more than that last year i swam from asia to europe in the istanbul bosphorus cross-continental swim a couple years ago i did the fina masters world championship so i like to compete at a pretty high level and it's really difficult sometimes to squeeze in the necessary training but if you're really efficient with your schedule you can make it happen if you work out just one hour per day, that's only 4% of your day. Think about how much time you spend doing other silly, unnecessary things. So oftentimes when people say that they don't have time to work out, they're just not making time. You know, sometimes people have to put it in their calendar. For me, I'm pretty good about getting in 30 minutes to 60 minutes of physical activity every single day. But if you're thinking about getting into a workout plan, start small, be consistent, and take those baby steps to getting to the next level. And if you wanna get into swimming or improve your performance and health both in and out of the water, make sure you check out the My Swim Pro app. I'm reviewing footage from today's shoot and it's absolutely amazing, really happy with the results. I have some GoPro footage for underwater, 4K, high definition, and 240 frames per second. And also from the iPhone, check out this one. Super slow motion, 240 frames per second. Look at that freestyle technique. Oh yeah, sweet. What would you say the CEO does? This doesn't have to be recorded. I'm just asking you a serious question. Can I sit down and make decisions? One of the most common questions that I get and other CEOs have is what does a CEO actually do? And if you're thinking about starting a company or you're just getting started with your co-founders and you're trying to scale up, how do CEOs actually spend their time and how do they know what to focus on? And really CEOs have three main jobs and it can be deceiving because if you go online, you look at YouTube and other social media, you can see that CEOs are posting what seems to be an extravagant lifestyle. Maybe they're only doing interviews and it's not exactly how they're spending most of their time. And I fall guilty to this as well. If you go and follow me on social media, it looks different than what the actual day to day is. So the three jobs that any CEO, entrepreneur or founder has, number one is build the vision and the strategy to get there. Number two, recruit a world-class team that can actually develop that vision. And number three is put money in the bank so that way you can fund the operations of the business. So if you're a CEO or an entrepreneur and you're thinking about how are you managing your time or you're thinking about launching a business, it really has to be one of those three things. You're either setting a vision and a strategy to get there, you're recruiting people and they don't have to be full-time team members, they can be advisors or mentors or potential partners that can help you get there. 
or you're trying to raise revenue, raise capital to fund the business. And if you're not doing one of those three things, you're basically wasting your time. And I self audit myself all the time to make sure I'm doing one of those three things. And if it's something doesn't fall into one of those three and it's occupying a lot of my time, I say, forget about it. Back to work. So the last thing that I do every single night before I go to sleep is look at my calendar so that I know exactly who I need to be speaking with when, and I also set my three to five core objectives and actions that I want to accomplish for the next day. So tomorrow is a Friday, uh, which for most people means it's the last day of the week. But if you're an entrepreneur, you know that all the days run into each other because you work 24 seven. So I think I am no different. I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes look at what it's like to be a 28 year old leading a global technology and media company. Uh, it is the hustle, it is the grind. This video sort of focused on a little bit more of the flashy side of things. Um, you know, we went on a video shoot, uh, we were in the car, we were having interviews, team meetings, stuff like that. And while I do a lot of that on a pretty regular daily basis, it's not everything. At the end of the day, as a CEO, as an entrepreneur, you're the operator. It's your job to make stuff happen and to lead the team in executing each person's individual goals as they align to the company's overall mission, which you set as the CEO. So, you know, while I did try to make this as transparent as possible, you know, some of it just doesn't come through the way it actually is in reality. And if you're nodding your head, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But pretty much, you know, I wanted to respect our team members' privacy. I speak with a lot of our community members on a daily basis and our partners. And so for that reason, those meetings and conversations did not make it into the video. But I do hope this offered a little bit more insight into what a day in the life of a CEO is like. If you guys enjoyed it and you're looking for more, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and follow me on all of my different social media where I give a more regular behind the scenes, Instagram stories, all that good stuff. Um, and if you guys are thinking about starting a company, just know that you have to start somewhere. Five years ago, it was just a dream to help people swim faster and smarter than ever before. And today, we have over a million people in over 180 different countries who have engaged with our mobile application or our content, and they're learning from us, they're inspired, and they're growing with us. So if you're interested in swimming, make sure you check out the My Swim Pro app. Until next time, keep hustling, and we'll catch you guys later. Take care.